Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jaser. In this video, let's continue our journey on the CSS. Okay, um, I've covered the back face visibility stuff in the last video. So in this one, let's take a look at the background. There are a bunch of uh, CSS properties on background. Okay, let's begin. So first, the background is a shorthand for uh, a bunch of CSS properties. Um, and I, I seldom use this one. I always use background color or use background image directly. Okay, let's jump to the first one, background attachment. Honestly, this is the first time I really knew this. I never knew this before. Okay, so the uh, let's see what, what what it is. The background attachment sets whether a background image's position is fixed within the viewport or scrolls with its containing block. Okay, the default default is scroll. So default behavior is last one. Let's inspect. Okay. So we have an output which is the fixed height, I think. The height mm? And the output um, height, yeah, 300 pixel. So, and the default example, there is a height, uh, it's also fixed height. So, and the example element. So, so this output actually has over uh, overflow scroll. And this one also overflows. So this is double one, double, uh, two overflows, okay. And this example element, which has a background and it's set with a background att attachment and scroll. So let's take a look. So if we would scroll inner, it would be this is inner, right? The background doesn't 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 uh, uh, scroll, which is what I'm expecting it. Um, so this is normal behavior. If I scroll to the outside, which is the container scrolling, it will scroll together this is the this is pretty uh, straightforward right because uh, it's default it should be it it says the background is for the uh, inner container so it should be scrolling while the outside container is scrolling but it should not scroll when its inner scroll is happening because the background is for the inner container so this is scroll default default one next one is fixed so if we set fixed, you see the inner scroll is still, it doesn't scroll, the background doesn't scroll. If I scroll the outside, it's still, the background doesn't change. Well, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, this kind of behavior. It just actually moves a little bit, but maybe we can ignore that. There's some performance issue, I think, I don't know. Anyway, so the fix actually sets the background fixed to uh, uh, relatively to the viewport. You can think of it like the background is another position fixed element, but it's in a different layer. Um, it's fixed, easy to understand, because it's fixed, totally fixed. Another one is local. If I scroll inner, it will moves, right? Yeah. And then if I scroll the outside, it will moves, still moves. So. I've already taken, I've already looked at the detailed explanation. Let me tell you this. It's actually pretty simple. It's very simple. You just need to remember uh, the relative position for this background. The scroll, the relative background is the container, the scroll container is border. So this is the scroll container and this is the border here. Uh, uh, okay, this is scroll, border. So if you scroll it, it will relative to the border. If I scroll inner, the border doesn't move, so the position doesn't move. But for fixed, the relative position is for the viewport, which means the border here. Obviously, no matter how you scroll the inner or the outer, it doesn't change. But for local, the relative position is the border of the content, which means itself, right? The self itself, yeah the upper bound of this content itself. So if you scroll, no matter the inner scroll or the outer scroll, the position is changing. So the background will move. Okay, and then if you have multiple background, you would uh, need to uh, set the 
uh, values separated by the X comma. So this is background attachment, pretty. I never use it, <laughs> so it's not that useful, I think. Next one, background clip. Uh, this is easy to understand. It's, it is similar to the uh, box sizing. So this is the border, this is the content. If you set the uh, background, you can you can you can define uh, the the area of the background which is supplied. A default one, I think it should be uh, I think content box. I don't know. A border box. I'm sorry. <laughs> the background is border box. You see, this is a gray area. It means this background is attached. Okay, let's just change it to some other colors. Okay, background, not background. Let's change the background image, but background um, color red. Okay, this is easier to understand. Okay, this is default border one, border box, and then obviously we can change the padding box, which is padding, or the cotton box. Okay, this is cotton. And there's another one about the text, which is pretty super cool. You see, we can we can just change the background color of only the clip uh, of the text, meaning the text will work like a mask, right? Uh, what we are doing in SVG elements. We can also add the gradient for this uh, background, which like like this. Okay, wait a minute. Add the image. Okay, isn't it this uh, cool? <laughs> yeah, just. Uh, we can use background clip to make the text working as a mask. Interesting. Okay, next one, background counter, color, uh, nothing special, just said the color. Background image, wow. Well, um, yeah, we could set the image with the image URL or multiple one, or use other image elements. Uh, by image data type, uh, image element was actually uh, a several, uh, several possible subtypes. The first one is URL, which is usually we're doing with. Next one is gradient, which is linear gradient here, and another one is element. Well, I never knew this before. What's this? Image arbitrary HTML element. It's it's live, meaning that if you make, meaning that if the element HTML is changed the CSS property using this resulting values automatically get updated. Huh? Particularly useful scenarios for using this would be rendering an image in an HTML canvas element and use that as a background. Ah, I see. Let's say take a look at these examples. This box is the element with my background ID at its background. Does it work? No, Safari doesn't work like the, the work. Okay, only currently only Firefox. So I'm gonna uh, skip this one. Went to the image in you know, HTML. And okay. We actually could extract the image from this canvas, right? With the data URL or object URL. But that's dead. It's not live. Mm -hmm. This is live image as background. Okay, element and image image fragment of solid patch of color defined by the image function. Hmm. This is still, I think, only Firefox. No, no browsers doing this. Okay, let's see what it is. Image, LTR. Huh? What? Okay. The image defines an image similar to URL, but with added functionality, including images directionality, it's been fallback images, when the preferred image is not supported, it's been just a part of that image defined by media fragment, especially the color as fallback media fragment. What is media, what is uh, media image fragment? Uh -huh. Uh-huh, is a part of the image, I see. Mm, not that straightforward. Uh, use this uh, fragment. Ha ha ha. Um. Okay, it currently not supported, so let's skip that. Okay, this one, crossfade blending of two images. Is it supported? 
Ooh, it's fully supported actually. Let's see what happens. So, okay, let's inspect this one. It's crossfade. The background actually use uh, WebKit crossfade. Uh huh. I I know what happens. Rather than we define separate background images and uh, using background blend, we could actually first blend them together and then use that one as the background image. Pretty cool. Crossfade. This is crossfade. Wow. This is super. A super <laughs> very cool. I think there are a lot of other uh, functions. Only only crossfade? Uh-huh. Okay. Next one, a selection image is chosen based on the resolution defined by image set function. Mm -hmm. Background, okay, image set. Uh, uh, pixel density, uh, okay, image set. Background image, which is kind of like a image uh, SR source set, right? For image image tag, um, but here we're just uh, using this function um, to choose appropriate background image for background layer. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, and uh, just for this gradient, uh, I usually use this linear gradient for this kind of. Uh, gradient and the actually there will be a radial gradient mm, yeah okay repeating linear gradient uh, okay repeating radial gradient wow and uh, conic gradient I don't know what even what it is this is <laughs> uh, I'm not that very uh, I, I I don't know that much of uh, colors actually Okay, this is near gradient, a radiant gradient. Wow, this is kind of common, right? You're really seeing this like the the preloading state or something. And we can actually adding the some uh animations here, just changing the background position, it will like a uh, moving. Uh, cool as a oh cool as a loading, loading uh indicator. And this radial gradient maybe could be useful for ripple effect. Hmm. Anyway. So this is a uh, image. We could I use any of them as the background image and um, separate multiple ones by using commas. Cool. So this is background image. Okay, next one, a background origin. A background origin sets the background origin from the border start inside the border or inside the pattern. Pattern. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between background clip? Uh huh. Okay, background origin is ignored when it's fixed. Let's take a look at the example here. This is con. Okay. Actually, this is border box, and this is hand padding box cotton box um cotton box but what what happens if there is a background clip okay if we set the uh, origin origin to uh a border box a background clip is content box ah i see I see. So the background clip is meaning clipping. It doesn't mess up with the uh, coordinates for the background. Actually, we sh first we define where the uh, the location for the background image, and then clip it. Mm, this is a uh, background origin. Cool. Okay. Next one, the position. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, company using a sprite, right? But current, I think for for, for not now it is a few people using. Sprites anymore because because of HTTP two and SVG icons, so I would say we 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 should use more and more SVG icons, but it doesn't hurt anymore, and the better compatibility. So if we're using sprites and uh, we could use this background position, just uh, yeah, there's some uh, uh shorthand for top and this is left, the center, 
And actually, we could just uh, specify the exact pixels, right? Yeah. It means we need to uh, put the background to to the position actually relative to the uh, top left. I would say, yeah, this is a. Uh, Wait a minute. Let's change the background position like a default is zero, zero. Yeah. And then uh, 100 pixel and 50, pix 50 pixel. Yeah. This is X, this is Y. So this is the position. And then so if for Sprite, it's a big image. We need to only choose the part of it, right? That's why where we could use the background size. Okay, background position actually is a combination of the X, Y. We can skip that. And then this is background size. Okay, background size of this one. Background size, oh, yeah. Background size uh, for contain. And this is repeat. Uh, the size will keep its uh, we'll keep this natural size, the, 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 the ratio. And, uh, and be rendered with the maximum dimension it can. And this coverage will cover the whole space, right? With no, uh, with no uh, extra space, no white space for this container. So this is cover. And actually, we could say the background position, I think. Usually we say make it center, so background um, position center, and also here is center, both center. Okay, let's say choose the background. Uh, what happens? This is image, right? Yeah, this is background image. So what happens if we choose the background size, like a ten pixel, ten pixel? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, it's too small. Okay, it's one hundred and one hundred. Okay, this is repeat, right? We could uh, background to repeat. No, no repeat. Yeah, it will be something like this. So how would you use how would sprite work? Actually, the element we could change the size to one hundred and one hundred pixel just to, and then move the background by its position, right? We could set it negative values, like uh, position like uh, negative one hundred pixel, something like this, ten pixel. But and the 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 enemy actually will only take this part, right? Suppose like take this part, so the icons placed in this image will be displayed. So this is how sprite works. Okay, last one. Repeat. Um, yeah, I already just uh, disabled it. And this is repeat. This is repeat X. And this is no repeat. Yeah, this is uh, actually most used, I think. Actually, there are two other ones. This is the first time I heard of them. One is a space. One is round. Well, this is uh, think of the flex box. We have the justify contents with this uh, space between and uh, or sp uh, round, right? Space round. And actually, this is working the same. Like for space, the uh, the background will repeat themselves and try to cover up the whole space. But because, because but but like here for three, there are some spaces. But in four, they're too too big, right? They they they, they cannot be placed uh, with four images. So the space will divide uh, divide equally among these three images. This is the same for for the images vertically. So this is space. Uh, is this kind of weird? If we need to the gap like to be uh, evenly distributed, we could use round. Oh no, not round. I'm sorry. This is this is not the same as flex box, but this round actually um, a tort. Uh, uh, a tort. Tort. And tort. Uh, I forgot a word. Uh, it will change the dimensions of these images to make it adapt. To adapting to the whole area without any space, right? A tor torch, a distorted. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. The image will be distorted. You see, this uh, ratio is not. Uh, uh, 
not the original one, right? Yeah, but there's no space. I don't think this kind of two are, are very useful. Anyway, just remember that's more than repeat and no repeat. Okay, so that's awful background. Hope it helps. Uh, um, in the next videos, I think we would uh take a look at the uh what basic shape? What what these basic shapes? Ah, okay. We'll take a look at this uh clip path. Okay. Pretty cool. I hope it helps. See you next time. Bye bye.